All right, folks, welcome back to the Wild West Crypto Show, coming to you from World CryptoCon in... Las Vegas. Vegas, baby, Vegas. I'm Drew. I'm Brent. And we are here with Ben and Wyatt. Are you Wyatt Earp? Yes. Reincarnate. <laughs> Wyatt Earp reincarnate. You found me. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Guys, tell us a little bit about your project, what it is that you guys are doing, how you're kind of set apart from the space. Uh, you know, give yeah. us, tell us your story, well, man. If I could interject, just understand what you guys get excited about this space and It'll help kind of guide the conversation a little bit. Well, okay, so let me tell you something. Yeah. He and I are entrepreneurs. When's the last yeah. time you ever had a job? Uh, 24 when I worked for Merrill Lynch. <laughs> okay, wow. there you go. I quit right. I quit my last job in 1984. Yeah. A, a inventor, entrepreneur, franchise, couple of companies, done that stuff. Brent's a seasoned guy. He worked, Like he said, he worked for Merrill Lynch, been a big contractor, big philanthropist and everything else. He and I met probably three years ago, I guess, yeah. close to it. I asked him because I've done radio and television for 25 years, and after talking to him and found out that the guy we actually know some shit, you know, mm -hmm. I said, hey, uh, you ever done radio or TV? He said, yeah, I had a TV show, I had a radio show. And That's cool. I said, you want to do this show because we need a credible message in the crypto space. Yeah. And I love YouTubers, and I love, you know, you, all those guys, podcasters. But to get guys like us that actually have money in the bank can invest in this, it needs to be a pretty credible message. So we're real radio, real television. We're on yeah. 50 TV stations, 100 radio stations, blah, blah, blah. Got it. So what we do is we go around and let people tell the story, and you're going to fly and die by your own words. We don't pick sides. We don't do any gotcha. We just say, tell the world your story. If you can live up to it and explode, yeah, we've done our job. And, and sometimes you get fatherly advice from me. <laughs> <laughs> I've, had, I've had some software guys I've said, Charge for it, son. Yeah. We'll wait yeah. for everything to be on the coin. So, anyway, sure. yeah. So, tell okay, us that's about our story. Yeah, right. So, like so Ben okay. White, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you want to it. kick it off? Yeah. Um, so, we're Constellation. Uh, you know, we're we're a base layer protocol, so we're really focused on you know creating our own uh, you know protocol, our own uh, well, the you know. Um, Something that's actually uh, specifically focused not just uh, you know on sort of like financial transactions, but uh, any kind of data whatsoever. Okay. Um, so like I'm a software engineer for, for many many years, and I've been focusing on uh, you know like in the big data space and building like performant backends and stuff. Um, so you know I did that for a long time and thought, hey, why don't we try to like reuse some of the stuff we've you know I've learned in my career to you know solve some scalability issues um, in the blockchain space. So uh, that's sort of where Constellation was born, and um, yeah, we're we're really uh, we have some great partners and some cool stuff coming out that you know, maybe. Thanks so for so we call ourselves uh, the blockchain for big data. Okay. So our whole thing is to reinvent what existing blockchains are doing today because it's not scalable. The actual architecture is not scalable, and it's not scalable to actually accommodate real world data. So you think about all the data that we're producing in terms of um, IoT devices, cars producing um, tons of data that we're analyzing it all the time. That works in a centralized capacity. Okay. So we have a vision of actually open that up by taking all that data and putting it on a distributed ledger that can be exchanged between devices and people in real time. So to do that, we had to create our own protocol okay. and our own distributed network that's powered by uh, right now, we have about 600 people that have applied to be node operators or validators that make up our network. Uh, and once we have this network up and running, we'll be able to process and secure and validate big data, much like centralized computing uh, infrastructures have done. So we believe that for the space to really kind of flourish and actually be used, we have to rethink the entire infrastructure of blockchain. Hey, so, hey, let me, yeah, hang on just a second. So Brent... We got a couple of guys out there loading hay right now. They're feeding cattle and they're going, what in they're the going, hell? Please, Brent, yeah, tell so. us what it means, Brent, <laughs> please. All right, so for my redneck buddies out there, they do have a very interesting project because basically a lot of the cryptocurrencies are using the distributor le distributed ledger for the creating of a currency or the creating of trading or for quote unquote being money. Okay, right. but the the blockchain has got huge applications in big data. Imagine this: Could you imagine going to your doctor and being able to give some keys and some codes, and then there's your medical history? You don't fill out the stupid ass forms. They don't. You know that my mother, God bless her soul, passed away about a year and a half ago, and every time she go to the doctor, they'd say, "Well, how do you feel?" Oh, I don't. I just feel terrible. So then they go into the psychological questions of, "Are you going to kill yourself?" You know, are, are, are you anxious, you know, or are you depressed? Oh, yes. Oh, what are you depressed about? All this weight I'm carrying, all this, you know, this um, fluid. Well, have you ever thought of killing yourself? Oh, hell no. <laughs> you know? wow. So, I mean, you know, but they keep, and, and literally five times they come ask these questions. 
everything is big data now. And so being able to take the distributed ledger and use it in this application, when that gets perfected, whoever perfects it is going to be worth their weight in gold. And these guys look kind of heavy. Uh, that's I, maybe there's a correlation. I've been working a lot lately, but um, <laughs> anyway, uh, it's really we're we're you know we're passionate about this stuff. Uh, you know, we just we just love it, and we just love doing what we do. And that's basically what what y'all are talking about. Yeah, I mean, I think you hit the nail on the head. You know, you look at where uh, the dollar was pegged to the gold standard, and then we evolved out of that and and uh, tied ourselves to uh, a barrel of oil. And now what you have in, in the markets that happened less than ten years ago are that the largest companies in the world are now monetizing data. Uh, and they've figured out how to successfully monetize data. Yeah. Um, and so what we believe is that there's a new coming where you're able to secure and validate the, that data and sell data in a, in a new capacity, not just for centralized uh, companies like Facebook and Google, but to open up that possibility to a myriad of people uh, and companies that can transfer, trade, sell their own data in some capacity. Yeah, pretty much like everything about you know uh, like our modern like um, you know tech world is based on user data and finding a way to monetize on that. Um, and so you know sort of the promise of blockchain technology is the ability to like audit uh, and have some kind of control over that information. Um, and it works both ways. I mean, one, it sort of removes like middlemen and trying to you know attribute value to both products and, and infrastructure and tools and stuff. But it also gives people the ability to sort of like you know define how they want to interact with this technology in a way that um, you know we typically sign those things away within terms and agreements in two seconds, right? Um, so I think it's going to be a, a really cool new shift uh, of all of us sort of taking ownership over, you know, ourselves, our rights, and, uh, you know, also finding a new way to create value and work together. Hey, you know, you, being, being an old fart, okay, uh, what I'd like them to do is just get the data right. Tried to buy my first yeah. house when I was 24. Um, I'm a stockbroker for Merrill Lynch. I'm making like 45, 50 grand in 1982 dollars. So that's pretty good money back then. And my brother and I, who's an attorney, both of us single, we were buying a condo together. And the closing was delayed because of my credit report. So I go out and say, what are you talking about? Oh, it's all your experience in Lubbock. I have no experience in Lubbock, never lived in Lubbock. I was there one weekend watching my brother in law school, but oh no, no, you had Sears you didn't pay. You, had, you know, They superimposed my credit with some girl named Lauren B, and I'm Lee B. And so they superimposed our credit. And then they called me and wanted me to leave my office at Merrill Lynch and come spend three hours to talk to, I forget what agency it was, wow. in Arlington. Well, I very succinctly explained to them that I didn't F up the credit, that they F'd up the credit, and that I wasn't leaving my office to clean it up. And if they didn't clean it up, then there'd be hell to pay. So, well, that's what yeah. I was going to say, because, uh, you know, for our ranching buddies out there and how this applies to all of you folks is that when you're out there buying and selling cattle, when you're trading things, yeah. any of that, the ownership of it, it can't be fudged. When you put it on this distributed ledger, ledger technology, things you guys are doing, it's immutable and it's there and nobody can go in there and change it or tweak it or anything else. That's why it's important to you. It's dollars and cents, gents. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it really actually sort of gets to the core, the crux of what our what makes our technology different. Um, um, which is the ability to validate, like, you know, actually, like, complex data. Um, so, like, anything, not just, like, you know, integer values or, you know, like, one, two, three or something like you do for, for um, like, a cryptocurrency. Um, but any kind of data type, like sensor data or, um, you know, we're doing some really interesting stuff looking at potential... Uh, projects with our one of our biggest partners, which is the Air Force right now, which has a real you know they want to make sure that their data is accurate and secure, right? So yeah, we um, want their data to be accurate yeah. and secure. Yeah, yeah. So, folks, great project, love it. Great. Do something with it, okay? Keep in touch with us as things yeah. develop, because sure. we like to introduce stuff and we like to follow it up with your cool. successes, yeah. okay? Thanks for coming out to the Wild West. Thank You're you rocking guys. the this cowboy hats, guys. guys. Really, we love it. You guys it. really got what we were doing. That was kind of yeah, fun to I, see you guys <laughs> pick that up. So that was not, great. Not, not bad for a couple no, of guys. I, huh? I thought it was great. And you know, your, ran <laughs> your ranching buddies, I was just out in Wyoming visiting them. Yeah. They're the most progressive state right now in, um, in the blockchain space. Yeah. Well, you know, you know what their monetary system is? How many cows does it take to buy a pickup truck? That's whether that's go. whether they got inflation or not. And that hasn't really changed over the years, regardless yeah. of the price of the truck no. or the cow. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. a good one. I like that. All right. Folks, Wild West Crypto Show, you can see all the things that are going on in this space. It is the future, folks. Start paying attention to it. Get on board. These guys have a great program. We'll be back with more great information. Folks, thanks for watching Wild West Crypto Show. Please subscribe to us right here, and you can watch more videos right over here. Additionally, if you'll turn the little bell on, 
Every time we upload a new and exciting video, you'll be notified. Thanks for watching the Wild West Crypto Show.